Hello YouTube, Mills Roy here. This is my uh what I've got, the HHO cell. And it's sitting around for a while now. What I'm trying to do is seal it up to stop all the current leakage. I've used a fix all sealant and oh, I haven't tested it yet. Um, and I won't have a comparison of what it would have been beforehand. They're all, all the stainless pipes are welded together. Uh, the inner pipes are welded at one end and the outer pipes are welded at the other end. They're all 316 grade. That's just a block to uh, allow me to get some sealant in there. Um, really, I've just sealed um, both ends. And uh, the pipes, what you can see inside, are out of a, a dishwasher. The 15 mil pipes in the um, the inners, the inner stainless steel pipes on the cell are 16. So I had a, a mil or half a mil to uh, put a bit of sealant in. Um, so that once that's in the electrolyte, it should the water should be able to travel through the center and. Basically, I'm gonna plonk that in a in a bucket. Um, just trying to show you there, getting the sealant in a little bit better than it was. Um, you know, two stages, get some in and then and then tidy it up. <laughs> look laughable, tidy. It doesn't look that tidy, but um, it's just really to get me started for experimentation. I've been I've had this cell sitting around for for. I would say a couple of years now. Um, well, what can I say? This is some of the bits I got up the scrapyard, and the PWM I've had for a while too. Uh, that's coming up later. But this this bottle's quite interesting. I think it's off a boiler of some kind. I've just put a little battery there to show you the size comparison. Obviously, it's rated to 10 bar, and it has a rubber liner. It's a pressure expansion vessel, but um, I can pump it up, put some air in it, or maybe something else in it. Might have to link it up. Something you're gonna uh, smear some, get some rust remedy in there, and clean it out, and then smear smear a coating of fix all on it there's me pwm it does work um still so still drying off so i'll be testing that in the next couple of days there's me bodged up connections because i didn't have any i always seem to have the wrong connections in my in my pot I always buy the wrong size it drives me mad so i ended up just making some you know where it is um What's the next one? The next one is the HHO bubbler and some other bits and pieces. Self-explanatory. I like this. Uh, off the bottom of a boiler, I've just put some solder in there. They're quite handy because you the, you can. It's sort of in one fitting. There's not no work to it, and uh, you can get the flow going in and out. Is it? Uh, Oh, that was another find up the scrapyard. That um, it's a heater nozzle, it's stainless steel, and my little gas HHO gas tap for the moment. I'm just testing it with my color gas bottle, put a rubber pipe on. Uh, that's it in full blast. Want some LPG? What's in the bottle? No, I just said that. You just see the little touches, it's tiny little holes. I'm sure it'll be relevant. I was thinking of cutting it up. But I'm going to keep it for the moment because I might have to um, change my... I've got a camper van and um, the LPG boiler. Probably one of the simplest boilers to um, retrofit some hydrogen to, I think. That's my intention. I do hope to be able to do it. So maybe I'll have to reconfigure the... Um, 
the way the tank is that leaded uh, bit on the top you can see the burner the way it's shaped so I'm sure I could do it another way because um, obviously I don't want that I don't need that much um, I might be able to do it a bit more efficiently and because it's not uh, carbon there's no carbon coming out I might not need to do it in the same way which would be great well, okay then that's me progress.